history at the beginning of Cairo is really about people who uh, were willing to participate in the creation of an organization and a program uh, to take care of the elderly Japanese Americans. So we said, let's ask the doctors, what are the health care needs uh, in the Japanese American community? And uh, they came back and said, we need a nursing home. Uh, they had to converse with the doctors and the nurses. And they had difficulty <laughs> speaking Japanese. And of course, the most important thing is the food. They're not used to eating hot dogs and spaghetti every night. <laughs> they like to have their, <laughs> their miso shiru and, you know, and their rice. I was asked by Ed Hiroto and Joe Shinoda, who came up with the idea. We were going to take over the Japanese, old Japanese hospital. And we had to figure out how we're going to have these people who had the shares in the hospital to give up their share. And we had Gongoro Nakamura and George Aratani behind us and Fred Wada. We formed a nonprofit corporation which uh, purchased the stock of the Japanese hospital. We were wondering about a name. But Mr. Aratani, he said, I think we ought to have the name Kero. A K means respect. And Ro means age. We purchased the land across Lincoln Boulevard to put up a 300-bed nursing home. It was a new idea. And in fact, the uh, nursing home industry was really in its infancy at that time. We looked for the banks uh, to help, and we eventually received generous loans from the Bank of America. We opened up uh, the first uh, nursing home, which was an 87-bed facility in Lincoln Heights. About a year or a year and a half later, it was full. It was kind of a brand new industry. Medicare was actually new for us because it started in 1966 and so it took quite a few years before everybody understood really what this program was all about. I think working with Edwin, the longer I was there, the, the older I've gotten, the more I appreciate what he actually did. He really was a visionary. Each step uh, we just started to feel better and better about what we were doing what the program was doing, and how the community was responding to the needs. Fred was really a, a maverick. His whole vision uh, was, was actually more towards the retirement home vision than the, than the nursing home vision, because he says, yeah, we're gonna have a poker room where all the boys can come and play poker, and you know, all of that. So. When I look at what we've been able to accomplish, you know, in establishing the retirement home and, you know, just kind of expanding our continuum of care from, you know, nursing facilities to actually active seniors, and I think that's been really important. Now the focus has turned toward wellness, like how can we support the seniors and their caregivers that are still living out in the community and rightfully, you know, want to stay at home. And, and I think, you know, through the Institute for um, Healthy Aging at Cato, you know, we're really trying to focus on, on wellness. It's gratifying to see the young people here uh, participating in our program as volunteers or coming here to visit. And it's good because uh, they will know what we're doing and the, uh, they can look to the future for what they have to do for their parents. Today I'm very happy and satisfied with what was done, yeah, that we did the right thing. I think that there's a real family atmosphere about Cato. Um, it's part of our lives. Our staffs, especially the nurses, they have a caring, they're so caring in here. I feel that Cato meets the needs of the people. It's a quality of life for them. I just think it's really important to always give back to the community and everything that the seniors have done for us. I know if I leave her here, they're going to take care of her. As long as she's singing, she's happy. Oh, my daughter tells me, Mom, you think this is the best place in the whole wide world? <laughs> So we look around today, uh, we just kind of sort of pat ourselves on the shoulders, it's just a, a great job. <laughs> it is my wish 
that uh, the Cairo that I see will become a new Cairo of the future with even greater positive roles to play.